I'm with Nick Powling, Business Development Manager at Hammer, who's responsible for a lot of the products. We've just sat through a very interesting round table. One of the things I wanted to ask you, Nick, was what you felt the products were that resellers should be looking to get involved with now and over the next six months. Yeah, well, certainly, as I think we discussed around the round table, from a product side of things, there's a lot of transitions from a drive and connectivity point of view, um, both interfaces and form factors. Um, parallel ATA and parallel SCSI traditional interfaces are going away towards the end of this year, and serial ATA and SAS are certainly moving into the more mainstream. Mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of the research that yourselves have done shows that more and more customers are looking at SAS as, a, mm -hmm. as an interface, both from a connectivity and drive perspective. Um, I think a lot of customers will certainly be intrigued with the emergence of SSD yes. and the yes. place that that's going to take. Uh, um, I think there's certainly a lot of hype as more and more manufacturers get into the SSD space. Um, today, I think there's some inherent obstacles for those companies to overcome. You know, um, traditionally or traditional rotating media still accounts for nine, more than 99% of the market. Mm -hmm. SSD is today a niche player. Yes. Um, yes. Within high high-end enterprise or defence markets and certain vertical applications, um, I think a lot of those inherent issues that we take for granted on rotating media are things like bad block management, um, error correction checking, all mm -hmm. things that we take for granted on disk drives, I think still need to be overcome a little bit on SSD. Yes. Yes. But certain with, within various different verticals, I think SSD is certainly something that our customers should be looking into. Mm. Um, and as I say, predominantly as form factors change on disk drives in general, they're tending to move more from three and a half inch to two and a half mm. inch. Um, clearly getting to higher and higher capacities, yes, more yes. capacity on a spindle and spindle speeds increasing. Do you think that there will be more emphasis on the, the green nature of products, their, you know, their wattage per unit and that sort of thing, is that going to come in? Yes, more? certainly more and more. I think already there's certain customers that are looking at it. Um, Western Digital have certainly had a lot of success with their green power drives. Mm. Um, again, I think it's market specific today. Um, depending on whether people's requirements are IOs per second, cost per gigabyte, or cost per watt, as you rightly mm. say. Um, but there's no question more and more customers are looking at the overall green um, solution. And if they can reduce the co cost per watt by putting in mm. lower power disk drives and other components, then there's no question that's something that's mm. going to develop over the next 12 months. Certainly. Brilliant. OK, well, look, thanks very much, Nick. Food for thought there. I'm with Jason Beeson, who's Sales Director for the Solutions Business Division at Hammer, and we've just sat through a round table where there's some rather interesting research about what made a good storage distributor. Amongst one of the top things was product expertise and service support. Presumably, Jason, that, that's quite good news for someone whose whole business is based around giving value. Were you encouraged by those findings? Very much so, yeah. I think for, for Hammer, it's, uh, it's music to our ears, you know, that the, uh, the value that we add in making sure that our sales guys are fully trained, know the products um, as well as they possibly can is, is very good and it's good to know that the resellers value that um, from our point of view, delivering products, um, new products and new technologies specifically um, in a way that is considered to be expert is, mm -hmm. is what we try to achieve and um, we're pleased that that's come through in the research. Because mm. you know. what the other the other theme that came through was that this is far from a commoditized market, isn't it? And it still requires somebody who knows what they're talking about, but also someone who can help a reseller build a solution. And I guess that's where you play a major role. Yeah, I think so. I think there's with the with, again with the new technologies, you know, it, it's mm. um, there's a requirement that the they're delivered properly into the into the requirement of the end user. Uh, and try a reseller trying to decipher everything uh, from every vendor that's trying to knock on the door is is time consuming and and quite often a waste of time whereas we we focus on a, a small area of the market be it storage um, and and make sure we deliver the message correctly on behalf of the vendor mm. and also sometimes on behalf of the reseller as well mm. the only other thing I wanted to touch on was that one of the things was you were very optimistic about the future is that that obviously ties into your position as a specialist you're looking ahead with quite a quite an optimistic outlook yeah absolutely I think uh, that there is a, a lot of 
um, evolution and revolution going on in the uh, in the storage space at the minute. Lots of new technologies. Um, that's good for us against the the economic uncertainty that uh, everyone's talking about. I think the storage space will ride the the storm relatively well. I don't think we'll be completely unaffected, but mm. we will grow. Um, and I think a lot of the storage focus resellers will, will also grow and, and we'd love to help them do that. So yeah, I think it's a, it's a positive outlook for Hammer for the next 12 months and, um, and further beyond also.